Welcome back. I am so excited to introduce Dr. Janet Woods. She's the founder and director of the Art of Life Institute. And Janet, thank you so much for joining us. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm very excited to oh, be here. We love it. And first of all, I've been so impressed not only with you as a person, like you just emanate like life, really. <laughs> you know, you're the perfect face of your institute. And I love the, the fact that you've named your institute Art of Life. Can you tell us a little bit about how you named it and how you see life as an art form? I've been practicing my art, so to speak, for almost 20 years. And what I realized is that everybody is always trying to improve their life in some mm -hmm. way. And so I said, you know what? This should be the name because it becomes an art. Mm -hmm. And when you elevate your life as an art, so many wonderful things can happen. I really love that analogy and that metaphor yeah. of living life as an art. Because mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, you're like, well, I need to make it beautiful, and I need yes. to make it interesting, mm -hmm. and I need to give it a lot of color. I need to pay attention. And pay attention. Yeah. And share. And mm -hmm. Yes, there you I go. love <laughs> that. That's fantastic. OK, and you were telling me earlier that you have a very wide variety of clients and students. Yes, um, our youngest student is 16 and our mm -hmm. oldest one is 91. I love that. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Well, that flies right into the conversation we've been having about follow your next dream That's and your right. next and your next. That's yes, right. Yes. That's wonderful. So um, today, Lauren told me that you're willing to do something called face reading. Is that yes. right? Yes. Okay, and what is the, what's the practical application of face reading? Why is it important to know how to do this as a, in life? Well, we do it all the time. We just don't realize that we're doing mm -hmm. it. Uh, face reading comes from China, okay. and it came about because physicians were not allowed to touch their female patients. Really? So they needed to be able to analyze the body and the face and diagnose. Wow. What mm. the physicians found is that in the process of doing that, they also identified personalities and behaviors. Mm. And so, that's how it came about, and it traveled to the Western world through the Silk Road. Oh, interesting. So I love this ancient art of face reading that we now use for contemporary this wisdom. This is fantastic. It's very cool. Yes. Wow. And we actually have some very famous face readers in the United States. I'll give you an example. Abraham Lincoln was an expert in face reading. Really? He was the first president that picked his cabinet based on their face. Really? And what was really interesting is huh. that they were trying to figure out why did he pick his enemies? Because up until that time, most of the presidents picked their friends. Right. Um, but huh. he knew that he had a mission, and so he picked people that would help him accomplish it using face reading. Amazing. Wow. How does that work? I mean, how do you... How does one face read? <laughs> well, the way you do it is you take a deep breath, uh -huh. and then you take a look at the person's symmetry. Okay. And you identify, based on their face, the largest area. And that tells you how they view the world, what their secret language is, and how it makes them feel. Okay, so we're going to read Amy's face Yay! today. And I know she's so excited. She can barely contain herself. I can barely I can contain feel myself. the energy coming out of her. I've been so excited since Lauren told me. <laughs> Well, I hope it's as good things. I mean, you know, who knows? Well, look at that. It's thing. all good. Look at that. It's all good. Um, we do have a graphic, and we're going to use that so that you understand what it is that we're doing. Okay, okay. great. Okay. And so I'm going to give you this piece of paper. Okay. And take a deep breath. Okay. And just kind of relax. Yeah, just relax. Mm -hmm. um, because most people, they get a little nervous uh -huh. because they're like, oh my God, what is she going to tell the world? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, TV that's has an effect. Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. But television or not, mm -hmm. we always look at what kind of positive information that we're unlocking. Mm. So it's kind of like the zipper effect. Okay. So it's like we put a zipper on your face and then we pull it down. Mm. and then we open up your world. Oh, right. And That's if she cool. has anything not positive, she'll tell you privately later. That's okay. I, I can take it. I can Actually, take it. Actually, everything is positive. Oh, okay. Well, There's always positive. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, look I'm looking at that. at that. I'm looking at this zone here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, so do you want me to do the forehead then? Not, not yet. Oh, okay. Because let me explain what the zones are. Okay, cool. Okay, zone one is the mental area. Mm. 
And so people that have a large forehead area, we call them mental. Mm. Not that they're crazy, <laughs> but they process their world men from Mentally. the mental part. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Then we have zone two. Zone two is what we call practical. Mm. And practical people, they are always looking for common ground or common sense. Mm -hmm. And then the lower area is the emotional zone. Mm -hmm. And so the emotional zone, it's kind of how people live their life. They live their life based on intuition and instinct. Mm. So it's not that they're emotional, mm -hmm. it's that they see things and hear things that other people don't, and they process their world that way. Mm. And so, Amy, we're gonna take a look at what zone you are. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is to, and you can help me with this. Okay. okay. I want you to take the paper and I want you to put it right above your eyebrows. Okay. From the top. From the from, top. What no. do you mean from the top? Oh, from this, the top of way. your head. I'll help you. Oh, yes. sorry. This way. Backwards. Mm -hmm. okay. she, she's like, I'm hiding. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, look at me, Amy. Okay, great. And then I want you to put it under your nose. Okay. Keep going. Down, 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 down. down, down. down. From the top. Where is my down, nose? Down, 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 down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Okay, go ahead and put the paper down. Okay. So based on what I'm seeing, and Lauren, you can help me with this too, mm -hmm. is that your zone, the largest zone, is zone two. You're practical. Oh, mm -hmm. so, I am practical. Yes, and so if you take your finger and you go like this, and then move your finger down like this, and you'll see that you have mm -hmm. to put your fingers together yeah, in order to Yeah, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, and the same with the top area. Okay. You go like this. Mm hmm Yeah. And then bring it down. You have to open your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, so, that's interesting. Yeah. And so for the people at home, if they're trying to figure it out, use your fingers as a guide. Mm -hmm. So you put your top finger where your hairline starts. Mm -hmm to the eyebrow like this. Oh yeah, this. so there's a big difference here. Mm -hmm. And then bottom of the eyebrow to uh -huh. the bottom of the nose. Uh -huh. Okay, don't stick your finger in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> unless you must. <laughs> unless, you, unless you really need to. And then the bottom of the nose to okay. the bottom of That's the chin. That's interesting, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some people don't want to try this at home by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's funny that you say that because like I consider, like if there is one word to describe myself, mm -hmm. I always describe myself as a pragmatist. Absolutely. Absolutely. I realize mm -hmm. things are not ideal and mm -hmm. I should make the best of them, make decisions. Now you have a language. Okay. And your language is, does it make sense? And what do you think about that? I, what? How did you know that? Because each zone I did not has tell a her. language. I always say that. Mm -hmm. Always. Those two. In fact, when I was teaching mm -hmm. at BYU, um, I said, does that make sense? Mm -hmm all the time to my students to the point mm -hmm. where one of them wrote in his feedback section, I don't know why you always say, does that make sense, but it really bugs me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. And then I always fault. say, does that sound okay? I almost, mm -hmm. whenever I'm delivering feedback mm -hmm. to like somebody at work, I always say, does that sound okay to you? Oh, this mm -hmm. is amazing, okay. Because that type of language allows you to get agreement from people. Yes. It does, mm -hmm. which is a very practical thing to do. Yes. And what do the languages <laughs> of the others sound like? Yeah. The emotional people, they always talk about how they feel. Mm -hmm. ah. And the emotional people are the quickest people to make a decision. Mm -hmm. So if you're in sales and you can see that this person is emotional, larger down here, they already know what they want. You just need to ask them. Wow. You know, they made their decision before they even get there. Oh, wow. wow. Then we have the mental people. The mental people are really good at researching and getting the facts. Hmm. One of the things about the mental people, though, is that they love Google hmm. <laughs> because now they can have answers at the drop of a hat, mm -hmm. but they process everything mentally. They're the researchers. They're hmm. the ones that get the information to you so that you can make a decision. The analysts. Wow, well, this yes. is yeah. so fascinating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am sh just shocked. I thought that you and Lauren talked a little bit before about not at all. speech no, language. Not at all. Wow, no. that's amazing. No, what I'm teaching you today, you can learn it in probably five minutes and it will just make your life so much better. This is unbelievable. Yeah. So now you're going to start staring at people. Be very I mean, careful. Be very careful. Does that make sense? <laughs> I, I do. What do you really want to tell me? <laughs> well, the mental people always tell, they're always, well, what do you think? And yeah. what do you think? What do you think? And can I ask you a question? 
because they're very inquisitive. Oh, wow. And then what, what do the emotional people say again? The emotional people is, how do you feel? I'm going to tell you how I feel. Oh, okay. It's all about sharing. That. Sharing. Oh, sharing your heart. Oh, my yes. goodness. That yes. is just crazy. Wow, amazing. And it's, it's neat to know like, that Abraham Lincoln did it. And I think of him as like, one of the world's most intelligent men that ever lived because yeah. of what he was able to mm -hmm. accomplish. But he's not the only one. I can tell you that through history, uh, Benjamin Franklin was an really? expert in face reading. Um, also, Barack Obama. He was an expert in face reading. That does not surprise me. Well, you have to understand that attorneys need to pick juries. Right. Mm. And so a lot of them are skilled in this. Um, a lot of them show up in my classroom if they haven't gotten that yet. Wow. That's amazing. What are some of the other things that you teach in your classroom? Um, we also teach mindfulness and meditation. Uh, I need that. Mm -hmm. We also teach feng shui mm -hmm. so that you can have a wonderful environment that supports you. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the last time you came mm -hmm. on and taught us about feng shui. Yes, I, I love feng shui because mm -hmm. If there's one thing that you can do to make your life better is to create an environment where you can blossom. Mm -hmm. Every time I purge anything, I cheer <laughs> Janet be a little behind the scenes. I go, this yes. is a good thing for my feng shui. That's I know. right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's it. And I don't know if you heard about the flooding that was in. Yes, I did. And she's, did. And she's taking the best attitude ever by saying, this is good for my feng shui. <laughs> Well, so I, can, I consider the flood to be an act of nature uh -huh. because mm -hmm. it came out of the blue. With mm -hmm. It did. The pipe mm -hmm. burst. That's mm -hmm. just, it just happened. Mm -hmm. And so now it's an opportunity. You have new beginnings. I believe that's true. Yes. That's exactly that's what, she was, mm -hmm. what she was saying. So you're a good mm -hmm. teacher to both of us. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll refill it with intention. That's yes. right. And hopefully fewer things. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. So how can we find you, Janet? How can our viewers find you? Oh, find the love of your life. Yes. using face reading. Let's talk about that before we let you go. We've got one that minute. Is, that is the number one reason that people contact us. Really? It's money and relationships. Wow. Mm. And so I do private consultations and I'll sit down and analyze your face in a 90 minute session and we'll talk about who you're actually looking for. Wow. Especially with, you know, all of the online dating services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can look at a person's picture and know all about them, you have an edge. It's totally cheating. That no. is cheating. It's you know what that's a, a really way. that's a really nice expeditious way to date. In a good way. <laughs> no, you're actually saving time, yeah. Yeah. energy, and money. Yep. Yes, you, you know, are. Why, why spend fantastic. your time, energy, yes. and money on the wrong person? Mm -hmm. So, is it theartoflifeinstitute.com? You can go to theartoflifeinstitute.com, okay. or you can go to JanetWoods.com. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you so much Thank for being you, Janet. here. That it was so was much wonderful. fun. Wonderful. You. You know, Amy's gonna start staring in the mirror. I know. She's like, gonna be <laughs> measuring her. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank yes. you. We will be right back.